What is going on everyone? We're gonna do a double feature today. We're gonna knock out two Ozarks, okay? Two small Ozarks, they're both right there. This first one here is a 2023 Ozark, and these are big names, Ozark, 1620 BHLE. And we'll get to the other one when we get over there. This one only weighs 2,870 pounds. It's 20 feet, one inches in length. So it's perfect for getting into basically every campground, state park, all those good places. You've got an eight foot powered awning on the outside. As you can see, this one is not fiberglass. The other one's fiberglass. That's why I wanted to do them both. Similar size, uh, one's fiberglass, one's 10. So anyway, here we go. Uh, you guys always want to know this, so I always make sure to include it. You've got a 30 gallon gray, 39 fresh, 30 black. Uh, I already talked about the awning. It does have manual stabilizer jacks and a manual uh, tongue jack. What else can we talk about on the outside? I think that hits just about everything on the outside. So this is a family camper. As we come in, we've got a queen sized bed right here as we enter. You do have a nightstand uh, over here for you know CPAP, charging devices, whatever. You also have a hanging closet right there, as well as some additional storage up there for pillows, blankets, whatever. You've got your couch right here with a table that you can fold up and put up out of the way. Let's say that you do have some crappy weather and you need some room in here, you can take the table down. Some more storage up there. And then we have our bunks in the back. The top one will hold 300 pounds. You're good to go on the bottom one. That's why I say family camper. You've got the two burner stove here that's got the glass top. So you can use that as serving slash prep space. Uh, and then when you fold it back to cook, it's going to be a backsplash, which is nice. You've got a 4.5 cubic inch fridge right over here. You've got countertop space, sink. And what I really like about this one, some additional storage. This one actually has a fireplace. So you can definitely take the chill out of this camper. Actually, you can make this camper really hot uh, without using your propane, which is super nice. TV will get mounted right here. You can put that on a swivel so you can watch it anywhere in here. Price wise, this is one of our 23 blowouts. So you're looking at a retail, excuse me, of $23,999, and we've got it for $13,995. So you're saving uh, over $9,000 on this unit. Bathroom, you've got your toilet, of course, and then you have your stand-up shower. Nice tall stand-up shower because you've got that moon roof in there. Like I said, when you're talking like smaller entry level family campers something like this is perfect because you are so lightweight at less than 3,000 pounds it makes it incredibly accessible for a lot of tow vehicles you still can put the family in here and you know i always give the argument now i do have a bigger camper but i also say that camping is more about the adventure so it's kind of like when you get a basic hotel room and you go to Disney because you're not in the hotel room that much, but you still do have quite a bit of space in this camper for activities and stuff if you do have that crappy weather. So now we're going to move over to this, which is a 2023 Ozark 1650 BHKX. So this is fiberglass. You still have the manual stabilizer jacks, manual tongue jacks. You've got a 14 foot awning on this one. I hope I got that right. Yeah, 14 foot awning on this. You've went up a little bit in weight. You're now at 3,579 pounds, so a little bit heavier. And it's actually a little bit longer. You're at 22 feet, five inches. Gray tank, you're looking at 30 gallons, fresh 43, black 30. This one also has an outside kitchen on it. So you do have a small fridge that's turned back right now, but you can turn that out this way. And then you've got a suburban griddle type grill on here. Show you the back, spare tire backup slash rear observation camera prepped. I didn't check that on this one. Same on that first ours, the Ozark that I showed you, I can't talk. Similar layout, similar. You've got your bed as you come in. You've got that nightstand again. You've got that closet. This time, instead of open storage, you've got closed storage. Your TV will actually mount right here in front of us. And then as we pan around, you still have that two burner cooktop stove. 
similar uh, countertop space, storage below. Above, you've got a microwave. We are missing the fireplace in this one. We do have a nice booth dinette here, so that will turn into additional sleeping options. And as you can see, you have some additional storage up there. This one features double over double bunks. So still 300 pounds on the top, but a little bit more room. I, forgive me on this, but I cannot remember the fridge size on this one. Obviously it is larger, but I'm, it's escaping me on the fridge size and I apologize. And then last but certainly not least, we've got our bathroom. This time we have a sink in the bathroom with storage below, as well as a medicine cabinet, toilet again, and that stand up shower. When we talk price on this one, we're looking at retail of $31,036, our price $19,999, so you're saving over $11,000. So that gives you a couple of ideas on some smaller, what I guess you would call entry-level lightweight travel trailers. You've got the one in the tin, and you've got the one in the fiberglass, both by Ozark, both at fantastic deals. Leave a comment down below and tell me which one of these was your favorite and why. Have a fantastic day. Always a pleasure.